We are going into the next set. We have Mr. Watch and Learn. Mick Watch and Learn. Mick. Mick. Mick Watch and Learn. Mick Sorry. <laughs> He's a mister. See it? Uh, Mr. Mick Watch and Learn. Mr. is his father. You have a good point there. <laughs> and then we also have a Mr. Butter Jones. Butter Jones? Uh, and, that uh, name sounds familiar for some reason. Not to me, but... Shrug. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to abbreviate Mr. Watch and Learn. See, he, it says Mr. right there. Okay. You it see? said Mick earlier. You see? That's my defense. It said Mick earlier. <laughs> we'll figure out who, which one it is. But it's Mr. Okay, Typo has corrected us. It is Mr. Pretty birds. Get out of here. <laughs> so we have a Mr. Game & Watch versus Marth. Butter Jones playing as Marth. This is... Whoa! <laughs> the dash attacks and... He dash attacked him into the stage spike, sort of, and then it just sort of flies into the down air. I, I don't think either of them were expecting that setup, but uh, Butter Jones was just like, I'll take it. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. <laughs> My goodness. Oh. So uh, this matchup is notoriously bad for Game & Watch due yes. to uh, Mars, Mars range again. Uh, Mars, Mars can be a polarizing character. However, at the top end of it, oh, at the top end of everything, the only time we've seen Marth versus Mr. Game & Watch, the Mr. Game & Watch has come out on top. Mm -hmm. And that's that's got to be saying something about traditional views on a matchup. Yeah. Well, e Good recovery. E yeah. Either it be a uh, player or... Like, sometimes, whenever you see Marth, sometimes they're just from melee. And they'll play against these characters that they have no idea how they work. It, like, their Game & Watch doesn't perform like this in melee. No, not at all. And even if he did, like, you don't see him in any of them in melee because he's not good. Well, he, he's not good because he can't L cancel. Yeah, the character is glitched and cannot do cannot L cancel his moves. Yeah. Also, it, he like spread eagles in his shield. So yeah. if you don't light shield, you're getting hit. Yep. No matter what, that he's the easiest character to shield poke. Down tilt is going to seal that stock. Crouch cancel down tilt specifically got the backside of Marth's up tilt, which is the most awkward part to get hit by. That was a good forward tilt. I expected an up tilt, but he's got him above him right now, and that's where Mr. Game and Watch doesn't want to be. I feel like he could have gotten a dash attack into a pivot forward smash right there. Uh, do you know how pivots work? Uh, Melee pivots, specifically? I I know how they look. I just forget how they work. Okay. So, a pivot in Melee is where you dash, stop, and turn around. Okay? <laughs> that pivot is one single... F Ooh, gets the spike off of that down here. Excuse me, the meteor. Yeah. Um, that pivot is one single frame where your character is standing. Okay? Yeah. And you can see it if you watch Marth whenever he dash dances, you'll see Marth stand up for a very, very brief moment. That's that single frame. You can forward smash on that frame, which means you can do things like dash forward, turn around, and then pivot to do the, excuse me, turn around to do the pivot, and then forward smash during that one single frame. And you can get a forward smash off of it. That leads to different opportunities, like in melee off of, oh, neutral air is going to seal that, and Mr. Watch and Learn coming back after a really interesting spike at the, yeah, spike at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. So, the way that the, the, the important part of the pivots is in melee against Jigglypuff. Marth can do a down throw that puts the Jigglypuff back behind him, and he can do dash towards Jigglypuff, pivot, forward smash towards Jigglypuff. For the tipper. And it will get a tipper. If you go watch, um, from NorCal, Kevin Toy, I can't remember his tag. Two, oh. Pew Pew You. One, go watch go. Pew Pew You versus um, Hungrybox. Pew Pew You beats Hungrybox <laughs> by using that. Okay. So Ooh. forward smash, kind of questionable DI. He's still got to jump. <laughs> forward air. I'm just going to announce it. I'm a Pokemon now. <laughs> That's all right. So um, what happened with that uh, forward throw forward smash? If Game & Watch was at a um, less percent and DI'd out, or, uh, sorry, slightly more, and DI'd out. He would have got hit by the tipper and died completely. Yeah, definitely. A little, little down and away DI is not how you want to do things. Ooh, good good coverage. Gets the up B into the neutral air. Mr. Game & Watch's up B is just dumb. That move is just absurd and silly and doesn't need to be there. Well, <laughs> it, I believe it starts moving frame three. It starts moving very, very, very quickly, and it's got a lot of priority to it. Yeah. There's no invincibility on it, mind you. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 you can't do that. You gotta get up. You gotta hold the ledge. Okay, down tilt. Actually, taking the stock right there at 170 on all all stages. Live and learn stage. Yeah, in, green, green hill, hill zone. Green hill for Marth. Um, if they're living past Marthritis percent, you've done something wrong. Very wrong. 
or they've done a lot of things very right. Mm -hmm. One of those two. And in this case, I really do think that, that was Mr. Watch and Learn doing things right. Ooh, that was a really good conversion off of that spike down air. Gets the down air into the tippered forward smash. There was nothing that Mr. Watch and Learn could have done right there. I think he was trying to mash up B because when you saw the it, when you saw the hit, he went up slightly from the trajectory on that. Yes. The, 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 the tipper forward smash, however, has a pretty straight out. What is this? What a good <laughs> down air. So down air does dip just below the ledge right before you land. Yes. And so there's like even if um, Mr. Game and Watch does sweet spot, but because it goes below the ledge, like there's nothing to sweet spot. Whoa. That did it. Some that that, that was weird. <laughs> So uh, that neutral air sent from clear across the stage at the ledge and KO'd him in the top right corner. <laughs> That's some high percent right there. Mm. That was a greedy forward smash. I don't. I think maybe he buffered it or something like that. He, I think he went for the down air because I saw him start to jump. Forward air does hit a little bit behind Mr. Game & Watch, which is really good for him because it did not do that in melee whatsoever. So bad news bears for him. Yeah. Dash attack into forward air. He's not going to get too much more of a conversion off of it. I think he could have done a neutral B instead of a forward air. Sent him out horizontally rather than up. Whoa! He charged that and everything. Yeah, Butter Jones uh, did a nair and fast fell into him. Like, he realized the nair wasn't going to hit him out, so he tried to fast fall to uh, hit, yeah. him, hit him before the force smash came out, but uh, Mr. Watch and Learn challenged it. Yes. They challenged each other, and Mr. Watch and Learn definitely came out on top. Forward throw. Yeah. Down throw. Down throw See, forward. right there, right there. He could have done a pivot forward smash. That would have connected. Mm -hmm. And that's at 160%. That, uh-oh. Okay. Granted, that wasn't the best DI for down throw. <coughs> no, not at all. But that still could have happened. That would have solved one of his problems, and that's the Marthritis. Just a few more percent, he'll be able to get the up throw KO. That down throw probably going to seal it. Yeah, you can't recover. Yeah. He tries to go for the forward air, see if he can get the sweet spot on it, because if he got in the sweet spot, it would have bumped him into the stage, and had he not... There's that forward smash. See, he went up. Yeah. There you go. So he is definitely matching up B. So, the, I thought I lost my train of thought on the replay. Um, he was forward airing with Mar Marth on the ledge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Had he gotten the sweet spot on the forward air and Marth was still holding the ledge, what could have happened is he could have hit him into the stage and stage spiked him and then hit his bucket, and that might, might mm -hmm. have solved the situation and, and, and he might have gotten the KO and the win, mm -hmm. but only if... Butter Jones just set his controller down and walked off. So there's yeah. just no chance of him winning right there. Yeah, and in that situation, uh, whenever Game and Watch can't jump back on the stage and he can only go for the sweet spot, um, he, Game and Watch can do a bunch of things to sort of try and convince you to get off the ledge. Good he, tech. Yeah. <laughs> Great tech. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's all right. But uh, Game and Watch can do a lot of things to try and convince you to get off the stage, but he can't physically force you off the ledge without killing himself. Correct. And so as a result, whenever he is out there, he can do exactly what you said, convince you to get up off the stage. He can hit you. He can try and take your stock with him. And it's a uh, it's Star Fox again. If I go down, I'm taking you with me. Mm -hmm. I missed that game. Yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty good game. I don't miss Fox. <laughs> I mean, he's still in the game. Good smash DI from Butter Jones. He went down in a way. Most players would have gone either just not smash di it or would have gone up. But he did, he definitely did the correct thing. That neutral air is probably going to put him out a little too far. I don't think he has a – yeah, okay, I lied. <laughs> I don't think correctly. Neutral air, that one will seal it. Now, this is going to be troublesome for Butter Jones because this is a much larger stage than the last one that they played on. Yeah. And Mr. Watch and Learn definitely learned. He watched and he learned, haha, -ha, that he needed to go to something bigger than, like, ooh, wow. Good up air off the top. That was really well done. But uh, I, I really agree with the stage pick. One, because the platforms are high enough that Marth can't really tip her forward smash you on top of the platforms. Not at all. And two, I have noticed that Mr. Watch and Learn's platform movement is just better than yeah. Butter Jones. I know, right? Dakbo, take notes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I'm taking notes for you. So we've got a three stock to one, kind of a, a really gnarly deficit for Butter Jones. I don't think, with the way the momentum from the last two games has gone, that he's going to come back from this deficit. I think that Mr. Watch and Learn has it. I would be really excited if Butter Jones turns this around and we get a lap, get a last stock. Mm -hmm. That beep is one of my favorite sounds. It's like right there with uh, Fox's whoa mm -hmm. and Pikachu scream when you hit him. Oh no! Oh, oh wow. my God! That was almost just the perfect. That he right. he was going to recover. Oh, so it my is last stock. God, 
Butter Jones has turned this around. <laughs> Did not take a single percent on that last stock. Now we've got ourselves a match. I hope I just commentators curse somebody because I love seeing comeback. <gasps> oh, I thought he had the spike. Yeah, I love seeing comebacks. I love it whenever the underdog turns it around, takes the game. So tries to go for a down tilt grab, ends up getting down tilted and gets hit by the up B. He's at a percent where if he DIs correctly, he might not get KO'd. I think he jumped. No, he, okay. now he jumped. He, he jumped, but he Oh, that's going to yeah. seal it. He DI'd Mr. Watch left. and Learn. That was a hell of a comeback <laughs> by Butter Jones. Really, really well done. However, Mr. Watch and Learn able to successfully seal off the set. 2 1 victory for Mr. Watch and Learn. There, there's a thing where, like, whenever you know, like, hey, I'm up three or four stocks, this guy's one stock, and suddenly you're now in the last stock situation, right. the person who was up can mm. sometimes just start panicking. Yeah, that, 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 I've been on the receiving end of that. It's not pretty. But Mr. Watch and Learn was able to hold it together. Okay. So we've got another match coming up. Uh, typo, do we have a commentary switch? Up to you, if you'd like to say or go. I, I was about, I I was about to say up to you. Um... Uh, so <laughs> right here, do you want us to play for it? I will play for it. I've got my controller right here. Here, uh, oh go, go catch yourself a break. Go get a drink yeah, or something sure. like that. I'll hold down the fort with Seth on until. Is, is Dakpo going to end up coming up? Okay. Okay, got it. So once Dakpo's done, he's going to come tag me out. Hey, dude, uh, very well done. I'm glad that we got the opportunity to do that. And I'm looking forward to, do, forward to doing that again at some point. Yeah, definitely. So I am joined by the legend himself, as I call him literally every time he gets on commentary with me. Oh, I think you're muted. You also have the uh, the microphone. Is it on? Yeah, you're on the right side. Are we? Are we? No, it's on the wrong side because it's, it's supposed to be over here. So that when we turn and look at each other, we go, ah. <laughs> yeah, right? There we go. Testing. Hey, uh. No sound from... from and, and there we Whoa. go. There's ah, my voice. Ow. Very loud voice. <laughs> Apologies, any headphones users. <laughs> oh, you caught me off guard. Take I was that. not ready for that <laughs> Oh, Alex, dude, how are you, sir? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, got a decent amount of sleep, and you showed up a little dashly late a couple minutes late. Oh, yeah, of course you did. <laughs> I uh, I was worried I was going to be late this morning, because I didn't oh, yeah. fall asleep until like 3 a.m. Oh, yeah, like yeah, that. I was definitely up until, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you streaming again? Um, Not tonight, no. Ah, okay. Um... Yeah, too busy, too busy. Ah, okay. Yeah, and I've actually I've been uh, housing some people, um, like Mook and Hugo, were over at my place the last ah. couple days. Um, but getting into another game here, we've got Pop, Pop, Pop. How do you even tip?